Car 4 3600 cast latency 16 kit, meaning the RAM and the Infinity fabric are both running at 1800 megahertz. And for power, we have that Corsair AX 1600i 1600 watt ATX power supply that's overkill even for this GPU. Tests were run on the latest version of Windows 10, and here are stats for the rest of the system if you want to take a closer look. Let's move on to performance though, and here are the actual clock speeds I was seeing out of the cards while in use. Note that the listed base and boost clocks for modern GPUs can often be ignored, as real world measurements almost always show them running at higher frequencies. Frequency will also change based on temperature and other variables, so while the 3090 Ti peaked at 2070 megahertz and averaged about 2010 megahertz after a long test run, it was also running at about 2040 to 2055 megahertz when below 70 C, and about 2025 megahertz when between 70 and 74 C. Frequencies might go up if ambient temperatures go down, or frequencies might go down if the card is running warmer in an enclosed chassis with limited airflow, or if the ambient temperature goes up as well. Let's dive into some benchmark numbers next. 3DMark Time Spy Extreme is a synthetic DirectX 12 benchmark from 3DMark, and here the 3090 Ti's graphics score was about 